Welcome, welcome everyone. Isn't summer a wonderful thing? Everything is so much better in the summer. It has been so nice here. It's been great. I hope you guys are uh, doing fantastic wherever you're from, except you guys down in Australia where it's winter. Ah! I like to feature uh, regular regular schmoes, close-ins, subscribers and followers and supporters that send me their replays. You don't have to be a unicorn. You don't have to have a purple WN8. You just have to be a regular schmo and you have to uh, try your best. And every now and then things work out. Commander Ali from the TBU plan. And let's do this right. <clears throat> Shout out to you guys! Is playing his Shah Futur. I love my Shah Futur. I just love it. Uh, and and I, I noticed something uh, looking at the statistics and the distribution, uh, the, the numerical values of all the, the damage and the averages. And the, this Shar Futur uh, is doing really well. Like, really, really. Uh, this one and the Baros, those Frenchies. Uh, which just goes to show in the, in the hands of a good player, a tank that can shoot four times accurately. Uh, which has very good concealment and mobility is just a beast like I play it and I have what I think are decent games and then I look at the results and it's like third class hey I did 4,000 damage third class well you were sniping like a like a pussy from the back well <laughs> you, know, you, didn't, you didn't get as much H, uh, XP because you you let your teammates spot for you but that's what you do you let your teammates spot for you and you use your accurate guy. He bounced that, but he's yeah, he's he's at the back. You do have some pretty good concealment. You can get into some positions to have some amazing spotting games as well in this thing. But anyways, Commander Ali is going to have a great game in his books. I'm sure that you could find uh, some more uh, uh, just dominating uh, examples of gameplay just unicom stuff right that that would be better than the game you're gonna witness here but um, Commander Ali we're gonna watch you and we're gonna enjoy your replay because you're just I mean you didn't even know that you had to increase the size of your minimap right you're just you don't even know where the enemies are <laughs> and you're behind the bush so you can't see through it but uh, you want to sit in the bush and then after you detect someone back up and then shoot. <clears throat> but Commander Ali does not uh, care about, uh, his, you know, he's playing the game to have fun and he's taking that blind shot and I wouldn't be so surprised if it went in. You, you could argue, yeah, he could, he should have went to, uh, I don't know, he should have went to K4, he's at B3. Like all you armchair quarterbacks, go ahead. You know, let him have it. Let me know everything he did wrong. Oh, he sucked. He he, he went to B3. He should have went to H5. You know? Here, have a cookie. Does it make you that upset? He does what he wants. He's playing the game to have fun, and he's going where uh, his brain tells him to go. His brain told him to go here so that he could shoot these enemies. And he's going to get a chance to take these shots as soon as you, <laughs> as soon as you load your gun, which is not loaded. Are you going to get... Detected. Take your shot. Take your shot, buddy. Okay, you can shoot. Well, yeah, any minute. You didn't have it. You didn't know. It took you too long to reload. Might as well shoot this guy. Uh, there you go. One. And oh, yes. you flubbed that shot. See, that was not Unicom gameplay. Well, if he would have went to the special bush at uh, F6, he could have been that 2,000 spotting assist. Now would be an easy victory. We would have seen that on uh, so and so's channel. Have a cookie. He's doing the best he can. He's shaking what his mama gave him. Look at that. Did, did you expect that? I did not expect that. Two shots into a previously unspotted. I don't know if it, maybe my commentary sucks as well. I don't know if that guy was previously unspotted. But now he's got, the enemies have done the, uh, the one line rush, which is a, a, a decent strategy on this map. They've come down there. And he's smart enough to know that he's got to put some distance between him and those guys. So him camping at the base, or not being aggressive, moving to the hill, or wherever you think he should have gone, other than where he went, 
enabled him to detect all those guys. He's got no spotting assist, but he was able to detect them. And now he's scurrying for the safety of the bushes, which Wargaming has conveniently provided to both sides of this map. The southeast corner is full of bushes, and the northwest corner is full of bushes. Yeah, Wargaming put them there. A and if you hide in them, you're hard to detect. Oh, he's, he's camping. Yeah, exactly. He's using the bush. That's what you do. You know how many times I've played a game and I'm in the bush and I'm, uh, I'm waiting to shoot like this. He's in the bush, right? Now, he did not back up. Uh, he could get spotted here, but he did not because he's got some pretty good concealment. And that guy probably didn't have good view range. And now he's going to take another shot and take this guy out. Come on, take him out, take him out. There's someone in the base. Hmm. He might have to do the spotting now. Will who's spotting now? No, oh, he backs up and he's getting ready to shoot this guy. This is oh, he's gone for the reload, but he accidentally got a bunch of spotting assist. <laughs> do you know how many times I've played? And, and now he spotted. Does that? Yeah, he drove between bushes, so there was direct line of sight. Someone had direct line of sight on him. Has to be within that white circle. That's interesting. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look at this. There it is. It's a pat. <clears throat> Who somehow snuck. You see him on the minimap there? That's who spotted him. He's scurrying for the corner. Keeping distance between him and the enemies. Someone's going to have to go spot the base. Now who should do it? Should he do it? Or should that 65 TP do it? Well, oh, he bounced on the pad. You've got four shots. Come on, make them count, buddy. Two. Yes, that's right. And he's spotting the pat. He's got 400 and whatever spotting assist. And one more. One more. Make it count. Make it count. Make it. Oh, it did not count. Two out of four ain't bad. And, and now he's spotted. But he's beelining it for the base. He's taking it to one foot of the team now. He's saying help. He's going to go spot the base. He's the regular schmo. They're losing 4-7. And he's going Who's going to spot the base? He's going to spot the base. He's not going to camp and, and pad his W and A. He's going to spot the freaking base. And take, spot it like a Muppet. But he spotted the base. So there you go. When you need someone to spot the base, would you rather have a Unicom who's going to sit in the bushes and farm a little bit more to pad his W and 8? Or would you, ha would you rather have a regular schmo that says, I'll spot the base! And he spotted the fucking base! He didn't do it the best way. He blundered forward. But he spotted it. And his teammates took that guy out. And I say... Well done! Watching the regular schmoes is inspiring. Not everyone is. Uh, you know, not everyone uh, can dunk. I used to play basketball. I couldn't dunk. I couldn't jump that high. The game wasn't fair. It, it, it disproportionately favored people that were taller. Kind of a stupid game is that. That if, you know, by, by a... Uh, a freak of your genetics, you happen to be tall and then you're good. But if you're short, you're not good. Does, does that make any sense? They should put the net 20 feet high so nobody can dunk and then play the game. Then it'd be fair. Then you, you, maybe a five foot two guy could be the best player. But I digress. <laughs> I, I love seeing the regular schmo try his best look at this aim now. Yes! Yes, Ile Cree! Ile Cree. And now he's using the rest. Some of you might have said he should have went to this position at the beginning. Well, he did. Oh, and he missed that shot. And he did not get detected. And ooh, he hit that shot. There are so. Uh, what was <laughs> I got distracted by myself. I've played so many games where I, I go into a position like a, some bush on one of these maps. And then I always have some guy saying, look at him, he's in the bush. He's a he's a he's a bush wanker. He's he you doing? You're always hiding in the bushes. Well, duh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then my reply is, well, would you rather that I like park beside the bush where I'm easier to detect? Well, uh, no, but uh, like you're always in those bushes. Uh, yeah, I, exactly. That uh, that's how it works. The the bushes have like 30, 40, 50 percent concealment. Yeah, but you're a bush. Camper, you wanker. I, I play, I don't do that. I drive in the open. I die a lot. But, you know, I'm not a bush wanker. Yeah. Have a cookie. 
All right, so now what does he do? He just doesn't want to throw his tank away. He's, uh, he, he's trying his best. This is the type of player that tries the best he can to help his team. If someone were to drive in his cap now, he'd go back and spot them. If the time was running out and he had some artillery and he, ha he there were enemies hiding in the bushes in the northwest, he would YOLO in and try and spot them. If it was 1v1 and it was an object, whatever the fuck, and he was in a little French tank, he wouldn't run and hide. He'd go and brawl and die. He'd try his best. He'd, he'd give it 100%. He'd muck it up in the corners, right? These are the kind of guys that make the world go round. Not everyone can be the boss. Not everyone gets the stock options and, uh, and, and does the deal with their friend in the government and then uh, 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 shake hands here and deal there and after a, a golf game uh, make a couple of hundred million. Someone's got to get on the assembly line and put the bolts in and tighten the nuts, right? Someone's got to wear the blue collared shirt and do the work. And those guys are unappreciated and ridiculed and made fun of sometimes. But when all those guys stick together and say, fuck you, we're not putting the bolts in, then the world grinds to a fucking halt. And he's going to take a hit here. He's going to take a hit. He's going to take a hit. And he doesn't care that he's going to take a hit. He's going in. He's going in, baby! One! And uh, don't... <laughs> two! Come on! Two! Yes! And, and run! Run! He's taking a hit. He forgot to shoot the 60. <laughs> he could have shot him, but he didn't. He forgot to shoot his gun. He forgot to shoot the last... He took three shots and he forgot to shoot the last one. But three out of four ain't bad! Hoo-ha! Commander Ali! Yeah? Who's gonna go in now? Is it gonna be the Object 279E? Huh? Is it gonna be the Object 268 version 4? Are they gonna be on top? Are they gonna dominate because they're in the overpowered, heavily armored, fast, Russian tanks with the huge guns? Are they gonna do it? Right? The only reason that this team won was because they have an Object 279E on their team? No. The only reason this team won is because this team has Commander Ali trying his best, going in, search and destroy. There's a Fosh there somewhere, buddy. There's a fine eye. You know, there he is. There he is. Come on. Make it count. Make it count. Farm some damage now. No, not like that. Aim. Aim. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, aim. Come on. You can do it. Come on, buddy. One more. One more. One more. One more. What? Yes. Eli Cree. Ha ha. Passion suivant. The regular schmo, he didn't get Ace Tanker. He's not good enough to do that. Almost 5,000 damage and no Ace Tanker. But Commander Ali, shout out to you, buddy. That's the way I'd rather have 14 Commander Ali's on my team than, than, some, than those other guys, right? The ones that we make fun of all the time on this channel. Yeah, it's all in good fun, guys. I'd rather have a couple of Unicorns on my team every now and then. Especially when I'm on one of those losing streaks. You know, 14 losses in a, ro in a row is pretty rough sometimes. Catch you tomorrow, guys! Enjoy your day!